The couple that I'm going to introduce you to now are literally one in a hundred. Now we know that they're probably one in a thousand or one in ten thousand, but in our journey to find this couple, they were literally one in a hundred. As the search committee looked and looked and looked, all of a sudden, it's like uh, I uh, worked under a college president once who said, you know, the large rocks always come to the surface on a bumpy road. And through this process of the bumpy road of looking for the people, a couple of gems, jewels, uh, came to the surface. And I want to introduce to you at this time your next lead pastor and his wife, Pastor Jeff and Cindy Messner. Come on up and meet the folks. This is the third time we've done this. Are, are we getting it right yet? I think we are. I think we are. And we're, we're starting right. always, of course, ladies first. And we, uh, right. we, want, we want to know a little about your career, which you have mentioned. And we want to know about your penchant for shopping at Kmart. Uh, yes. I mean, Walmart. The other Walmart. Mark. Walmart. Okay. Yes. Tell us. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Jeff and I have been married almost 32 years this summer. And we have three grown children. Jessica's 28, our son Jordan is 25, and our youngest Jillian is 23. So we're, they're all done with college. They're all out on their own. Two are married. The last one's going to be getting married. And so we're empty nesters. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee. Hooray. Congratulations. And uh, I am a fifth grade teacher in a small rural district in Lucas, Ohio. And I teach reading, language arts, and social studies. And I love teaching 10 and 11 year olds. They're awesome. And uh, Jeff and I love to go to see national parks. And we love the outdoors. And this is the perfect community to enjoy that because it's just so beautiful here. And speaking of coming here, Jeff is always making fun of me that I don't properly pack for trips. Like I'm, I'm not bringing enough warm stuff which I have to admit is true. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was going to be warmer, and I had my shorts and sleeveless shirt and, you know, a sleeveless dress for today, and it got very cold and rainy yesterday, and it was a little miserable. So where did we go? We went to Walmart. And did they have any long sleeve white sweaters so I would be warm? No. So I bought a short sleeve one, <laughs> which is better than none. Mm -hmm. But the real find, Jeff found, not in the women's department, not in the men's department, because the women's didn't have any winter stuff. It was all gone because they're putting out summer clothes. Didn't find anything in the men's department. So Jeff goes, well, let's look in the boys' department. And don't be blaming me. He's the one that found this and said, honey, this is what you need. <laughs> That's my first piece of Michigan clothing. <laughs> Jeff and Dad did not want me to get into the car when it was time to go back to our uh, hotel. Anyway, and I apparently didn't know until today, till Pastor Dan told me that I guess the Wolverines is Michigan University and there's Michigan State. Spartans? Okay. <laughs> well, what do I know? I'm not a sports fanatic. But I guess maybe I am now a little bit. We also have a lot of Democrats and Republicans here, too. I want you to know that. So, you know, you'll, you'll learn. Jeff, uh, greet your new flock. Flock. <laughs> It's, uh, I was in uh, the restroom, three times your restroom, and I saw all, all these, these pictures of, of lambs and sheep yeah. and shepherds. Uh, so, I mean, I felt very much yeah. at home there. So, as a, as a shepherd for 32 years, uh, it's, it's wonderful to, to meet your flock. You know, Jesus was with his, his flock, the 12, on the last night of his life. And while he was with them, he, he said something interesting, and I've shared this with the other two services, and it's so true for, for both Cindy and I. He said to them, I've earnestly desired to share this meal with you. I, I've, we've earnestly desired to, to be with you uh, today and, and to, to be with you moving forward. We've got some things to take care of down in Ohio before we can, can be here long term. Uh, today, more of a meet and greet, but 
What a wonderful opportunity to, to begin to, to get to know you all. We've already met so many wonderful people today. Uh, uh, Dan and his wife Lois have, have been so gracious and the, the search team and the leadership as we have gotten a, a chance to, to meet many of them. The staff have been, been so gracious. So we're so glad to, to be among you and we're looking forward to, to what God is uh, going to be doing and, and moving uh, in our midst uh, in the days, weeks, months and, and years ahead. We're looking forward to many more uh, Sundays of saying good morning Amen. Uh, with you. Uh, share with us just a, a bit about your your re reaction to our posting when you first found out about us. Well, just so many commonalities is, is what what struck me. Um, you know, I, I've served in a number of, of denominations, uh, so um, as as I, I kind of saw in in, in your congregation that uh, you are, are a people that uh, came together originally 50 years ago um, and said, hey, you know, we don't want to be fighting over things that are non-essential. Mm -hmm. So you, you guys, the, the Apostles' Creed is, is something that is the, are the essentials and, and uh, in the congregation I have served, that very much was the case. Um, you know, I, I've been in denominations where we baptize by immersion and, and believers baptism. I've been in a, a, a denomination where we've sprinkled infants. Uh, I've been in a, in a denomination where, you know, we had elders together with me at the communion table and prayed along with me and, and uh, been at a communion table where it was just me as, uh, as a Lutheran pastor praying. So a, a lot of, of things uh, that I, I, I come with a wealth of experience into a congregation that is comfortable with a lot of different ways that they do things. You guys use a liturgical calendar the same way the congregation I have just come from uh, and uh, the lectionary and uh, the choir practices and sings uh, on the same night that, that our choir in Ashland did. Mm -hmm. I told the praise team that, you know, the praise team practiced on the same night as our praise team in Ashland. So there was just so many similarities. Uh, your, uh, your statement uh, at the beginning and the end of your bulletin, gathered you know, by the cross, uh, scattered to serve, is one that just resonates so much in, in my heart. That'll preach, and uh, I'll, I'll preach about that often. Sounds like a match made in heaven. Yeah. You know, we started praying for you three years ago, two years before we ever heard of you. Yes, and, and I really believe that, uh, that uh, God knew since the foundation of the world uh, that we were to be together and, and we've seen that so much when somebody said to me you know we actually began the official search a, a year ago I, I said it was a year ago that I started searching but uh, I knew that, that God was and, and there were so many times when I would say okay God why did this door close at this time in, in the process and, and you wonder and, and there are some times you know, along that journey it can be very long but uh, Cindy and I have talked about you know Sometimes to, to get to the water, you've, you've got to go through a desert to be able yeah. to, to finally get to that o oasis. Yeah. So we're excited to be at this oasis. Yeah. Welcome to the water. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome Thank to you. The we water. will drink. <laughs> okay.